Thank you, the one and only Adam. The, I guess, evolution is complete and he is everywhere. Oh my God, I'm loving um, Wicked and Bad. And um, the song of, of the moment is Quene. I, I kept calling it Quene now, but it's Quene. <laughs> and he's here. He joins me now. Good morning. Good morning, dear. Okay, so loving, 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 loving all the music you've been putting out recently. Um, I always, I feel like in terms of artistry when it comes to Ghana you're you're there you're there there's no even Thank any you. denial but what's been new with you well uh, I like the fact that you said recently yeah. uh, I think that uh, I'm just in that zone in my career where I feel very invincible I feel very creatively driven and I feel like extremely untouchable I'm in that zone so everything I feel I'm going to put out has a Midas type to it and it is it has been with uh, every record on the album uh, Queenie has become a monster hit. It is I huge. turn on the radio, Queenie. I drive past a pub, there's Queenie. Somebody sends me a voice note, they are somewhere it's playing. <laughs> uh, somebody posts it on Instagram, they are using it to work out. So it's like that kind of that kind of hit. But uh, I don't believe in feeding off one song. And so uh, we've released a, a sequel to, to Wicked the and album, Bad. Wicked and Bad. All right, Richard, isn't it great that you can dance to your own music? Yes, yes. Unfortunately, I'm not a very good dancer. No, but you can move. Yeah, I can, I can move at home. At home. Oh. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what? Um, hit after hit. I saw the video of you. I think that was your... Was that one of your first videos? You and Sal Cody. I saw yes, Adam. yes, yes. Bougie. And yes, your yes. clothes were so big on you Oversight. guys. Shout out to Uncle Jerry. Uh, I remember when we were shooting Bougie. He gave us, I think that time it was a convertible BM. Oh, wow. and I think that time it was around 120K. E. And he pulled it out. We put it on set. And whilst we were shooting Bougie, one of the stones that we used to put on the, 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 the green mm -hmm. screen fell and then hit the car. E. And fortunately, nothing happened. He still <laughs> made us shoot. Wow. Uh, it was a little late, so they moved the car off set. So the rest of the performance scenes, there was no music. It was just the timing of the song in our head in that we used oh, to wow. deliver that the director shot. So Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> looking, I mean, just looking at some, even just some of the evolution of your musical career from mm. that video mm. to now, Wicked and Bad, um, are you happy with what you've achieved so far? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think that uh, I'm not close to what I want to achieve, but uh, you still have to celebrate every little success that comes your way. And so uh, I'm very happy considering the fact that I moved from being an artist and then was able to switch lanes and still get more people to follow. Because usually when you change, people don't like to adapt. And so your following actually falls out. And so... Okay, it's, it's major. on that note, I have a, a message from you from Richard Hughes, uh, uh, Hugh Hess, sorry, who says, good morning, please uh, tell Adam we love to hear him doing some dance hall uh, moves in his language and not just in Patois. So I know in Wicked and Bad, mm. you've got the Patois down to a T, mm. but is there an option for you to do Patois in Ever? Yes, yes, yes. I think it's about the talent, not the dialect, and mm. I keep saying. And so all you have to do is zone in. People have heard Samini do dance hall and there's Chi in it. It's, it's, it's that easy. It's just that what I want people to understand that whilst he's saying that I should do it in Ewe, there's also a cross section who also wants me to. So what you actually have to do is be able to give everybody a little of what they want on the album. So you can get it in one song. You have to actually have a full album and then you might have a song that's a dance dancehall song in Ewe and then you have a song that's entirely uh, Jamaican Patois influenced. Okay. Yeah. One thing I like about you is you're somebody who you like to listen to what the industry is saying and also watch your fans. Mm -hmm. I know uh, not too long ago you invited me as yes, well as, yes. as other music professionals. Well, I'm not, yeah. not, not in music, industry professionals. Yeah. And what you did, you played us 20-something tracks yeah. of you see your songs and you asked us to help you choose yes. the songs which are on the album yes. and i'm very proud to say that you and, know wicked and, and bad i was yes. one of them you know i, I rated it very highly yes why and did you do that most people don't necessarily do that well i'm thinking that uh companies do focus group discussions yes. and and so it will be it will be smart for us on this album to promote records based on your your opinion instead of ours because sometimes you have to look outside the box so we put together your opinions we tabulate it on a graph and we start promoting the song according to the highest 
song with the highest mark on the graph and was that wicked and bad wicked and bad is one of them and and, and, I and, it and, highly. and yes yes <laughs> and 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 the highest song finally is my song featuring raquel which we haven't that released yet and so we are waiting to see how you guys your respond is going to impact on on ghana and the continent when that that song comes out all right loving the wicked and bad um, video looks amazing thank you uh, there's another question where did you shoot it well uh we shot in afenia uh that's uh off the akosombo mm -hmm. road and uh on a very exciting location shout outs to david north productions they did an awesome job with the video okay we, we wanted to give dancehall a video that is super because usually people take dancehall videos for granted they, they they just do it but we wanted to set a standard where you watch a video from movado or sean paul and know that it's virtually on the same level as uh, an adam video dance okay video. I, I know you recently was in nigeria and you were we won an award so yes. that was the city people award tell, yeah. tell me a bit more about it well when nigeria were nominated for the city people awards mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ghanaian artist uh, male and then we went to Nigeria and, and we won uh, I must say I was pretty taken aback I was also excited at the same time because the whole journey of this album is to be very continental and so for me that award was a sign that we are really moving in the direction that uh, we have as a vision for for the album so it's, it's major, Nigeria we are coming Nice. Okay, so with uh, I know there's a remix for Quene. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, tell me all about it, because that song is just amazing. <laughs> I don't know how a remix could even make it more amazing, <laughs> but tell me more about so, it. So Quene uh, was exciting. We, we we felt it would be nice to create more bars for, for the excitement. Uh, I called on my brother Ice Prince, and then Casper Nioves from South Africa. Nice. And I sent the song to Ice in the morning, in the evening. He sent me his verse. Casper nice. sent me his verse in three days. We dropped the song, and it's everywhere as we speak. But the major thing about it is that we're going to South Africa. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely get the, the Queen of Remix, the video for, for nice. people to see and put it on the continent. Do you know the only thing missing from the Queen of Remix? No. Mercy K. <laughs> so I think we have to Mercy go to Essay okay. together. <laughs> In fact, we've even started talking about a re remix. Um, yes, 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 yes. Well, K is about to do this, y'all. Whether or not that will come to the forefront. <laughs> yes, that's going to come. <laughs> yes, yeah, you guys should look out for Queenie Amake's version. Thank you. So AK's version, yes. But Mercy K going to do this. I don't yes, know why I'm talking with an American accent. <laughs> but please forgive me. Uh, we're just talking about um, Ice Cream, the, the girl who, you know, did the verse in, in the song. And she's really good. Yes, yes, um, yes. What's, what's she like? I mean, did, how was she, like, putting her verse together? Uh, she was exciting. We actually recorded two songs in four hours. Wow. You did what? We recorded two songs wow. in, in, in four hours when we entered the studio. We did uh, a song where I'm t she's from Zambia. So I'm telling her I'll take her to Ghana to see exciting places. Yes. Yes. And so the title of the song is Ghana. And then we wrapped up and I told her I have another beat. And then she Why don't we do verse? something? And then I started doing the chorus. And she would just sleep on the studio carpet put her headphones on and by the time you know she's dropped 16 bars and I that's wow. impressive she's, yeah she's she's multi-talented talking about that people should be on the lookout for uh, my song with her mm -hmm. and another Zambian artist called Jay Rocks okay. uh, he's from Zone Farm they I think they were group of the year Channel O was last yeah. year right. that's right yes 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 very yeah. continental she's, I like yeah, how you're going like across everybody the branching African out. continent mm -hmm. alright I mean we're going to uh, finish very soon but the, I think the last question for me is the whole Castro disappearing for um, you as somebody I know he's like a friend and brother to you how, how are you dealing with it because as of now we still don't really know well yesterday I was in the studio mm. uh, with Magnum and him and I recorded two songs in a night about five weeks ago mm. this is you and Castro yes oh, okay. five weeks ago he's supposed to release this I'm supposed to release mine and now I don't feel excited when I'm hearing the song even though it's a club song and a party song, immediately Magnum turned on the song, the atmosphere in the studio changed. Mm -hmm. Everybody has goosebumps and yeah. it was no longer. So I think the more the days pass, the more daunting it is and the more very sad it is because at least everybody needs some form of closure. Sure. Exactly. And, and, and so it's, it's, it's quite sad that we are still pending and, and not having any form of we don't know exactly what's happened. Quite sad. 
Yes, all right. I mean, also, last words to your fans. What can I expect from The only Adam? thing you guys can do is follow me on Instagram. I'm EdMGH. That's how you know what's going on with our lives. I'm a K2. <laughs> 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 Anywhere I see a billboard, I'll take a shot and then I'll, I'll put it up on my page. Or follow me on Twitter. It's one word. I'm EdMGH. Check out Wicked and Bad on YouTube. Just type in Adam on TV. Let's go get them. Go get them. Good stuff. Yeah. Thank you for coming here, bro. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, as for the Quimney refix, yeah. I'm on anyway, it. I'm coming for mine anyway. The, you know the other one. Hey, yeah, Brady's yeah, going yeah. to wrap as no, well. No, no, no. no the remix. Oh, yeah. the remix. Yeah. I need yes, the, the remix too. And the exclusive. Thing. Yeah. Adam yeah. and Mercy K. We're going to do this. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I want to say a big thank you to our main sponsor, Vodafone power to you power to you uh, join us once again tomorrow morning 6am right here on TV3 where we bring you more education entertainment and lots more where we call new day